What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to fix our five card problem for our blackjack game with PyQt5 and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to fix our five card problem for our blackjack game. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my course videos and books, for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. And a special shout out to everyone who grabbed my new Python book over the weekend at Amazon. You guys shot it up to the number one hot new release in the Python category. So thank you for that. If you haven't checked it out, head over to Amazon, type in Python Elder or Elder Python, something like that. It should pop right up and give it a look. Okay, moving right along with our blackjack game here. Now we want to focus on the five card problem. And in blackjack, if you get five cards and you don't bust, you automatically win no matter what your score is, right? So we haven't built that into the game yet, so we need to do that. So that's what we're gonna do now. So you can see we've got two fours. Let's say hit me, uh-oh, we busted. Let's try this again. All right, so four and a two, let's give this a try. And we see player wins, we've got five cards, they equal 15. And even though 15 is not really a winning hand, we have five cards, so we automatically win. So that's what we wanna do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So I'm gonna scroll down to our player hit function, and we're gonna do this in the player hit function as well as the dealer hit function. So you can see right here, well, here's the dealer hit. Let's move on down to the player hit. And you can see right here, if the cards are less than five, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. Well, now we need it to be less than or equal to five because you know if we hit five, we wanna do something, right? So what do we wanna do? Well, let's come down here and right here is the section where it checks to see if there's four cards. And if there's four cards, it deals the fifth card, right? Well, as well as dealing the fifth card, now we wanna uh, check for bust, right? Because if we haven't busted and we've dealt ourselves that fifth card, that means we're under 21 and we win. So we're gonna do some stuff there. So the first thing we wanna do is grab total scores, right? So let's go self.player underscore total. Set that equal to zero. We also want the dealer too. So self.dealer underscore total equals zero. The reason why we want the dealer is because if we do win, we wanna flash up the dealer score in the little box that pops up. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate that. So let's get player score. And we can just go for score in self dot player underscore score and player underscore score up here somewhere. Yeah, we've already calculated that inside this function. So that's already there. So we want to, what do we want to do? We want to go self dot player underscore total plus equals score, right? And we could do the same thing if we want for the dealer score. Let's go to dealer score, and this is just gonna be dealer underscore score. And here will be dealer underscore total. Okay, so we've got our totals, we've got our scores. Now what do we wanna do? Well, let's check to see if less than or equal to 21. Because if we're less than 21, we win. If we're equal to 21, we're, we win too. So to do that, let's go if, Self dot player underscore total. It's our score is less than or equal to 21. Well, you know, that's it. We win. <laughs> right? So what do we want to do when we win? Well, first let's disable our buttons. Right? And we've done this before. Let's just go self dot hit me button dot set enabled. And we want to set that to false. And we could copy this and paste it again. This is the stand button. So that disables both of the buttons. And now let's just, you know, flash up a win message. And we can go Q message box dot about and pass in ourself. And for the title, let's just say player wins, right? And then let's create an F string and let's say player wins and put the player's total. So self dot player underscore total. So it shows you know what your score is. And let's say dealer, and let's put the self dot dealer underscore total. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Now the game has been disabled, the buttons don't work anymore, the shuffle button will, will work so we can keep playing if we want. But uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna come up here and let's see, I'm just gonna grab all of this that we just did. 
I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do the same thing to our dealer hit function. Let's scroll down and find that. There it is. Don't forget to set that equal to less than or equal to five. And then just come down here to the four spot again and paste all this in. Make sure you're indented in this LF4 section here. And here, let's see, we're gonna change this from player total to dealer total. And that's pretty much the only change, right? For a message, let's have dealer wins. And let's say player score that, dealer score that, eh, that'll work. Now this is very rarely gonna happen because the dealer can almost never get five cards, right? I mean, they can, mathematically it's possible, I guess. But anytime a dealer gets 17 or over, they have to stop. They can't get another card, even if they want another card. So that will stop that. If they get, let's say 16 with four cards, and then they get another card. I guess it could technically happen, but it's gonna be very rare that that happens. But either way, it's in there. We've accounted for it, so that should be fine. So let's go ahead and save this blackjack7.py, head over to our terminal and run this. I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. And let's go Python blackjack underscore seven dot pi. So we're gonna have to shuffle a lot here until we get some low cards. All right, so three and a four. All right, that works, dealer wins, 19. And we can confirm we've got eight, nine, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there we go. And that seems to work. So that fixes our five card problem, pretty simple. And I think we're gonna call this done for this project. We could keep tinkering on this forever, keep adding functionality. There's a lot of things in normal blackjack we didn't do like splitting cards. We didn't program in insurance, stuff like that. But you know, the point of this wasn't to create a professional blackjack game. It was just to build a fun game and learn a few things. And I think we've done that. I don't wanna keep beating this dead horse. I think we're gonna move on to something a little bit more interesting, but uh, yeah, pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. That's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.